Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. Today we're bringing you our Walmart video for the month of December from the town of Buckhannon, West Virginia. Heather and I walked in here and saw there was tons of cards on the shelves. We're going to give you a little walk around to show you what they had. So you saw the Tops Gallery up there in the top right, and they have a whole bunch of Bowman Platinum hanger boxes. They've got some WWE cards to the left, and then we have our Contenders blaster boxes there, one autograph per box. Lots of mega boxes of Bowman Platinum, and they had a lot of football cards there as well. we got 2020 Donruss and 2020 Illusion Fat Packs. We've got the Upper Deck new release there. For hockey down here at the bottom there's a whole giant sleeve filled with fat packs of 2020 tops update i haven't seen that too often at most of the walmarts and if we check the clearance bin they also have clearance bin items we've got some 2020 tops heritage packs along with some sticker packs so i'm gonna pick out about a hundred dollars worth of stuff take it home and open it up and see what we can find all right everybody we are back from walmart Kind of a far Walmart. That one was uh, about two hours away in West Virginia. So let's hope that we can bring back some good pulls from this haul as well. So we've got three fat packs and three blasters. And one of them is a mega box. So we're going to open these up. Two autographs are guaranteed. One auto out of the Bowman Platinum and one auto out of the Contenders. Hopefully we can get lucky and find an extra one. But let's go ahead and get started. We'll start off with Top's Update. These were $4.98 or $4.99 at that particular Walmart, which is pretty good. Typically, when I see these, I end up paying uh, like $5.48, I think, at my Walmarts. By the way, there are all of the, your odds and no purchase necessary if you want to pause that and look up that information. Here we go. 2020 Tops update. What can we find? So, lots of All-Star and Home Run Derby cards in here. Lots of uh, past All-Star MVPs and Home Run Derby winners, which is kind of cool. There's a nice Gavin Lux 85. We've got a Javi Baez Walmart Blue Parallel. You get one of those in every fat pack. They're pretty nice. They're not numbered. But for anybody putting a set together of all blue, might be kind of cool. There's Mike Piazza and another Gavin Lux. It's a nice Gavin Lux pack. It's a turkey red. We'll take that one. Let's check out the rest of these and see if we can find any other decent rookies. All the good stuff in the fat packs is going to be right smack dab in the middle. That's going to be all of your short prints, if there are any, all of your inserts, and any autographs or relics. Let's do the other one. And we'll do all the fat packs first, so oh, that one does not want to open up at all. All right, we'll just try the other end. But we'll do the fat packs first, and then we'll do the blasters, and we'll save that mega box for last. And maybe we'll get lucky again and have another big-time hit. Last time we did a Walmart video, we had uh, actually we did two Walmart videos with Bowman Platinum. We had a Jason Dominguez auto, and we also had a Bobby Witt Jr. They were both out of 50. Here comes the good stuff. Let's see what we've got. We've got a Brock Holt. It's a silver foil parallel. We've got Luis Garcia, number one prospect card. A Bob Feller, decades best, which is kind of cool. Here's a nice one. It's one of the top rookies in the set, actually. Trent Grisham, rookie card, and it's a Walmart parallel, so that's nice. We'll put that one aside. Just uh, thinking about um, trying to find his card or Randy Arzarena, top rookie cards in this class. Trent Grisham really impressed this year at the top of the Padres lineup. We'll see what he can do with a full 162. I think he might do pretty well, hopefully, rooting for him. All right, so those are our update fat packs. Nothing crazy in there. Probably the best card for my money was the uh, Trent Grissom Walmart Parallel. Also like the Gavin Lux cards. Let's get some football out of the way. You guys always say you should pick up those football cards. People would just people used to get so frustrated, especially when I would go to a Walmart and Target and there'd be all this basketball on the shelves and I would just pass it by. If you want to look at those videos, I have playlists of all my old Target and Walmart videos. You can go back like two years and just look at the, the shelves overflowing with basketball products. And I just, you know, totally ignore it. So check out the playlists. I've been updating those with um, information or like a list of all the different videos. We've got Walmart. We've got Target. We've got flea markets. We've got the new release videos. How about this? It's a Kyler Murray, former number one pick by the MLB or in the MLB draft by the Oakland Athletics. I think they even gave him like a nice $5 million contract. He turned it down to play football, so we'll see how that turns out for him. 
Chris Carson, Josh Allen. One thing I'm noticing that I don't like about the cards is the names are very, very difficult to read. Carson Wentz, Gabriel Davis. We have a Shining Stars, nice acetate card there of Keenan Allen. There's the back of the card. Cards kind of remind me a little bit of Gold Label with that nice um, picture in the back. Nick Chubb right there, Jonathan Taylor, Jared Goff, or Goff, Carson Wentz, Tom Brady. So there you go for all you Brady fans out there. There he is in his Tampa Bay Buccaneers uni. C.D. Lamb is the last one. So Tom Brady, number one card of the set, a nice one right there for Dellen. I don't know much about football cards. Not sure about what a base Tom Brady card is worth. Probably about the same as a Mike Trout card, I would imagine. So Dellen, by the way, I got to give you props. This is your video. Sorry about that. Forgot to slide your name in. Hope we can find some good stuff in your blaster boxes right now. If you'd like to sponsor a video like Dellen, you can check out my Patreon page. It's $3 per month to access all of our Patreon-only videos, which you can only see on my Patreon page. I usually do maybe one or two of those a week. Nothing else hanging on in there. All right, so here we go. These pack looks, packs look like they were smashed down a little bit. Hopefully the cards are in good shape for you, Dylan. We've got Charlie Blackman as our first card there, a nice Master and Apprentice card with Jordan Alvarez and Jeff Bagwell there. Luis Severino screaming up at the sky in that last card. Next pack up, we've got an Abraham Toro. Jeff McDill. There's a 54 design. Nolan Arnauto. That's a really nice set. I love the 54 set. Uh, it's called the Heritage set in this. That one's not numbered. Would have a colorful border around it if it was. AJ Puck rookie card to lead things off here. We've got a Christian Walker parallel and Dario Agrazal rookie card. Former Bucko right there. Only four cards per pack. We've got Bryce Harper as our first card. Kyle Freeland. There's Michael Conforto, a rookie card of Andres Munoz. Three packs left for Gallery. Some people like Gallery. Some people just dislike it and will just pass it by every time. This might be one of the tougher sells, at least at the, on the retail market. I don't see it selling very quickly. Sometimes I'll go into Walmart on a stock day and I'll see gallery on the shelves and I might go back a couple days later because I need something and I'll still see at least some of the boxes around. There's Modern Artists, Gavin Lux. That's a nice looking card. So a lot of Gavin Lux cards today for Dell and that's his third Gavin Lux rookie card, which is pretty nice if you're a Lux fan. We got Shin Su Chu as our first card. Luis Robert, very nice. That is probably the best card of the set, the best base card of the set. Still, he's the, uh, I would say he's the hottest, or most valuable, not hottest, but most valuable rookie over Randy Arizarena. Of course, Randy had the uh, awesome offseason, but I feel like long-term Luis Robert might be the better star of the two. We'll see. We have a Master and Apprentice card. Looks like Ron Santa there with Chris Bryant. Nice looking card right there. There's the back. It's not numbered. And Shoei Otani. Let's check out the exclusive parallels. These are artist proof. They say artist proof in the corner. Down here you see Jalen Davis rookie, Aaron Savali rookie card, Martin Maldonado, and Jose Altuve is the last one right there. So we've got some nice rookies so far. Luis Robert, Trent Grissom, three Gavin Lux cards. No autographs, but that's going to change right now. We've got a Panini Contenders box right here. There's six packs in here. There's five cards per pack and one autograph is going to be in here. At least, hopefully, it says on average there's one autograph per box. So let's see what we can find. $20 box of cards here. One guaranteed autograph. Not too bad. Panini's pretty good with their autographs in terms of dishing them out. They also have, uh, what was that, extra edition always would come with at least two hits in a blaster box for 20 bucks. Let's go ahead and see what we can find in here. I'm not a huge fan of the design of contenders, like this season ticket design. It's, I mean, it's it's cool, I guess, but I'm not a big fan of it. Sandy Alcantara, there's Jan Moncada, a green parallel, Nolan Jones, future star card. Next pack, let's see what we've got. A-Rod's on the back. Okay, Alex Rodriguez. Here comes the hit. We'll save that one for last. Uh, Yadier Molina, there's a, a legendary A-Rod. Nice looking card right there. I do like that design. Not a big fan of the base design of this set, but the inserts look pretty cool. Josh Bell is going to stay down there and hide that insert. By the way, it's a JR. So if you want to guess who that is, you can kind of let those wheels turn your head right now. JR is the initials. 
Pete Alonso, Joey Gallo, there's Ronald Acuna Jr. and Cattell Marte. We've got a nice Fernando Tatis Jr. winning ticket card. Like that card a lot. Fernando Tatis Jr. going to be a major star here for years to come. Looks like Manny Machado, his teammate, coming up in the next pack at the back. We've got a numbered card of Brandon Crawford out of 299, 58 of 299. Charlie Morton, there's the Manny Machado game day. Two more packs, and we'll check out Dellen's autograph and see what we've got. Lance Lynn is our first card there. Jonathan VR, Trey Turner, Luis Castillo, and there's the up-and-coming Braylon Marquez. And here we go, last pack. So nothing crazy yet. That autograph is going to determine if we get our 20 bucks back in value for this box or not. Future star Nick Madrigal. So here it is. The JR card is going to be, if you said... Jordan Romano, congratulations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Jordan Romano is our hit right there. There's the back of the card. Doesn't give you much information about him whatsoever. I don't know much about Jordan Romano, but if you're a Blue Jays fan, you probably do. So that's our first auto. There's going to be one more auto right now. It's coming out of this Bowman Platinum box. Let's see if we can strike, uh, strike uh, I guess, gold again in these. If you remember last month at the end of November, we picked up a couple of boxes of these for our Walmart videos. And one of the boxes had a Jason Dominguez auto out of 50. And the other one had a Bobby Witt Jr. IC parallel out of 50 as well. Both autographs, both uh, very, very nice pulls. So, Dylan, here we go. Let's see what we've got. There's also two Chartreuse parallel cards in here. All right, so Jorge Soler starts us off. There's a Jose Ramirez, Nick Senzel. That is a nice one. Luis Robert. So, Dylan, you're having some luck with Luis Robert so far. you got a nice gallery rookie. And this is a – I don't think we've pulled this card yet in any of the Bowman Platinum boxes that I've opened up. So, I like that one a lot. I like the look of that card right there. Freddie Freeman, Chris Paddock. There's Austin Meadows, Kevin Biggio. Here comes the good stuff after Mookie Betts. Tim Anderson. Got your batting champion right there, Tim Anderson. And we have J.J. Blade, who is another nice prospect, a number one overall pick a couple years ago. We'll get that sleeved up. The autograph is going to be, oh, boy, could it, could it be Wander Franco, guys? Tampa Bay Rays, it's a lefty. Wander Franco is a switch hitter, so it could be Wander Franco to end this thing up let's see what we've got there's Anthony Volpe a very nice prospect Michael Toglia we'll save that card for last there's Adley Rushman speaking of top prospects number one overall pick in 2019 Greg Jones now I'm very very nervous that our autograph is Greg Jones and not Wander Franco so I would bet you right now that it is going to be Greg Jones and it is Greg Jones dang it I was so excited for Wander I thought maybe, just maybe, we had a Wander Franco auto, which would have been crazy. But Greg Jones is the autograph right there for Dellen. Got faked out there, but that happens from time to time. So that is this edition of the Walmart pickup video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button. We would very much appreciate that. Also, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also tap that little bell, turn on the post notifications so you get a notification on your phone from youtube whenever i post a video or go live and speaking of going live we're going live december 3rd on thursday to give away all this stuff right here we've got a tops chrome black sealed box a tops uk box we've got a series two hanger box and a bunch of singles great singles right there we went through all those if you'd like to get in on that scroll down to last thursday's video and make sure you like the video that you're subscribed and you leave a comment and uh, you'll get yourself in on that. We'll be giving all those away on Thursday. So that's it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.